the formal introduction. Here's Athletics Director Mike Bobinski. Thank you, Tom, and thank you, President Daniels. Uh, as, as Tom mentioned, it's a, it's a new day and an exciting day for Purdue football. Uh, but before I speak more about that, uh, one thing I, I do want to take a quick moment to say, and that's uh, I said it to our team earlier, and President Daniels actually said it to our team uh, earlier this fall, uh, how much we appreciate what they've done over these last six weeks. Under difficult circumstances, when you have a midseason coaching change, it's not easy for them to stay together, to do the right thing, to represent Purdue in the way that they did week in and week out, uh, and, and beyond our team, likewise our coaching staff. Our, our coaching staff acted in, in the absolute utmost professional manner. I, I have the greatest respect for who they are, what they've done, uh, particularly Jared Parker, who is, I think, in the, in the room here somewhere today. I hope he is. I know it. There he is in the back over here. Hey, Coach Parker. <laughs> We, we placed that group of men in, uh, in a difficult set of circumstances, but they more than lived up to their obligations and their commitments as professionals, as, as, as teachers, as coaches, as leaders of young men, and I, and I really appreciate that. Purdue appreciates that in, in every way. I would also would tell you that I truly believe those last six weeks, while they didn't reflect the results on the scoreboard that we all want, were part of the process of turning this thing in the right direction. Things were different. Things had changed. Our players handled themselves in a, in a different way and in a, and, and in a way that, that, to me, sets the foundation for what we want to accomplish going forward. So, again, I want to, want to certainly give my, my thanks to all of that. I recognize, we all recognize, that it's been a tough stretch for Purdue football. Our community, our family, everyone associated are hungry for improvement and success. And that goes uh, for, for everybody in this room, and, and I know that. We all know that. Uh, but it is, as, as President Daniels said and as Tom mentioned earlier, it's a brand new day for Purdue football today. We've got a renewed and enhanced commitment to success, and that begins with President Daniels, with Chairman of the Board Mike Berghoff in the back of the room. Mike, uh, thanks for all your help uh, through this process. Uh, we, we are intent on building a championship organization, one that can compete in the Big Ten and beyond in the years ahead. I understand, we all understand, that it won't be easy. It won't be overnight. But it will, in fact, get done, and it will get done the right way in a way that makes Purdue proud in the years ahead. The key ingredient in building that organization to a championship level, though, was, was finding the right head coach. To that end, we conducted a very thorough and lengthy search. Uh, we, we were, it was definitely interesting. It was exciting. Uh, it was uh, affirming along the way of the, of the interest and the, and the opportunity that we have here at Purdue. You know, as the process unfolded, there were certain characteristics, though, that were non-negotiables non for us. First and foremost, and this is just a few of them, was integrity. And, and President Daniels mentioned that. We want an ethical leader, somebody that who at all times will treat his players, treat his staff, treat everyone around them in the right way and make every effort to do the right thing when people are looking or not. An academic orientation understanding and appreciating Purdue's academic strength and our mission and making that a priority for our players. And Coach Brom has already addressed that with our guys earlier this afternoon. Intelligence. I, I've always been a believer that smart people find a way to get things done. I, I like having as many smart people around me as I possibly can because I, I may not uh, carry my own weight in that area all the time, but I, I like having lots of smart folks around me. A history of success in every way, from recruiting players, developing players, evaluating talent, competitive success, the habit of winning and understanding what it takes to win is something that you don't forget. And if you have that, you have it. And, uh, and that's something that we certainly wanted. And then finally, a belief in our opportunity. Not in a belief in any opportunity, but in a belief in our opportunity here at Purdue and what we might accomplish in the years ahead. And we were fortunate as we worked through this to have the opportunity to consider a number of, a very strong number of excellent candidates, folks that had great credentials and great level of interest in this job. But early on, we identified the man sitting next to me as the coach that we felt was best equipped to lead football, Purdue football, to great success in the years ahead. A few observations that I'll offer about Jeff before I give him a chance to get going here. So he, you'll, there's lots of facts that'll come out, lots of uh, things. I, I won't try to go too deep on this, but on, on a very high level. He's so a native of Louisville, and uh, anybody that's uh, familiar at all with, with, with the city of Louisville and the Brom family in Louisville, there, I, I think the word is the first family of athletics in Louisville is the, uh, is the Brom family. That's, that's who they are. They are they, they've cut a wide swath in, uh, in and around that city over the years. Jeff himself had tremendous athletic success in high school, in college, as a professional athlete, both in pro baseball and six years in the NFL. 
uh, was a hard-nosed and relentless competitor. I mentioned it to our guys. I, I remember a, a bowl game that Jeff played in as a player. Uh, he was a quarterback at Louisville. Freezing cold weather. It was Liberty Bowl? Yes, sir. Liberty Bowl. Freezing cold weather. Had a couple pins in his throwing hand. He was a quarterback in his index finger on his throwing hand. Still completed 19 passes that day, led them to a victory over Michigan State, and that's all that everybody talked about. I watched that game. I still remember seeing it. Uh, so I've, I've known about this gentleman for a, for a long, long time and who he is as a competitor. A high-integrity individual, someone who's respected by his players, his staff, and literally everyone that I spoke to. I could not find somebody to tell me anything other than the highest level of praise and respect for how this, this gentleman carries himself each and every day. As a head coach, back-to-back -back conference championships, three consecutive bowl games in three seasons, and a 30-10 and 10 overall record. By my Long Island, Longwood High School math, that's 75% winning percentage. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty strong uh, by anybody's estimation. Considered to be one of the very top offensive minds in college football today, and one of the very best developers of quarterbacks, which takes us back to some great days in Purdue history. The results are there to back that up. He plays an exciting, aggressive, productive brand of offensive football that's all his own it isn't somebody else's system it's Jeff Brom's system and one that he's put together by borrowing the very best ideas and concepts from around the game of football and that's a that's a great great uh, testament to who he is as, as a coach and then finally a tremendous family man he mentioned it to our team earlier and I would tell you this in our final conversation with Jeff as we were as we were getting this thing to the to uh what I was certainly hoping was the finish line. Uh, the last question he asked us, of us was, hey, I need to know that it's okay if my family is part of this, if they're around, because they matter to me. Um, and President Daniels, before I could answer, President Daniels said, we wouldn't have it any other way. And I think that says an awful lot, again, about, about who we are, and, and, but also about who, who Jeff Brom is as, as an individual. So without any further ado, it's my great pleasure to introduce Purdue's new head football coach, and welcome Jeff, his wife Jennifer, who's over here, his son Brady, who's in the third row over, or, yeah, third row over here, and his very shy daughter Brooke uh, <laughs> to the Purdue family. So, Coach Jeff Brom, welcome to Purdue.